Lost Cat is a recently established experimental brand that communicates its viewer through a combination of street art and merchandise, philosophy and humor, and in both English and Chinese. We're here in the East Village to speak with the brand's founder to learn more. Lost Cat actually started when I was about 13 as a joke, which is just an oversized Lost Cat poster, which was really crudely drawn, and it just said on it, said, Lost Cat, if you find him, give him back to me. And it was like a stick figure of a cat, so it's completely uninformative. And it surprisingly got um, like an overwhelmingly positive response from just people walking by and laughing at it or like taking photos of it. While the brand is officially established in March 2015, the concept of Lost Cat, as we see it today, began to take shape as a design side project when Max was studying graphic design in college. The project began as street art posters that Max would document people's reactions to, and eventually took on the forms of more consumable products, like stickers and t-shirts. Lost Cat uses simple but clear designs and humor as vehicles to deliver positive philosophical concepts. It's largely a critique of our viewpoint in terms of the human experience and that, you know, what is ownership, what is being lost really. We as humans have the freedom to create our own realities. So at the crux of it, it's trying to create a positive perspective on life in general, but it's using the medium of humor to kind of break down barriers and getting people to think about something in a way that's lighthearted and enjoyable but then at the same time contains a deeper message. The four designs currently available are in English with one Chinese version, which Max enlisted the help of friends to translate in preparation for a trip he happened to be taking to China while the idea for Lost Cat was still in formation. While there, he made an unexpected discovery. Most people over there weren't really interested in the Chinese version. They were more interested in the English version. But then I was surprised to find that when I came back here to New York that everybody seemed to be so fixated on the Chinese graphic over here, which I thought was really interesting, that essentially it meant that we have a healthy interest in each other's cultures and that we're specifically interested in something we don't completely understand. It was a perfect example of like what this project is all about. While Max is using various media to deliver philosophical concepts, in no way does he intend to force any particular message upon anyone. There'll never be a case where somebody doesn't understand what I'm doing because I don't necessarily understand what I'm doing, and I'm okay with that. A lot of the project is affirming that, you know, as a human, we don't have the ability to know everything, and then there's things that we will never know, but at the same time, I think it's also very valuable to affirm that, you know, we're okay with a lack of understanding and that it doesn't necessarily uh, deter us from living a healthy life. For each design, there is a limited inventory. Once a design sells out, Max moves on to a new design and a new medium. Lost Cat merchandise and media are available on the website at lostcat.nyc or at Labor Skate Shop in Manhattan's Chinatown.